You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out this Betty Cracker Easy Bake Potato Chip Maker. Bake your own chips in your Easy Bake Oven or Mom's Oven. So I'm going to give it a test. And I'm going to actually use the Easy Bake Oven that you see in the background there. So that would have been the oven that came out at the same time of this Easy Bake uh, Potato Chip Maker. Now I've done that oven before, but I wanted to make sure I try to make this as accurate as possible today. Now look at her, she is happy and smiley making potato chips and she's got three full trays plus this little potato chip container here. So I, hopefully I can do the same thing. So here is the side, this gives you some information about the mixes that originally came with this. Now I don't have the original mixes. This is what the set came with, I have everything else but the mixes. And then there was some seasoning packets. This is a Kenner product. And then the top shows you a nice big basket of potato chips. I wonder if we're going to get them to look like that. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to find out. So let me just take everything out of the box. I'll show you everything that came with it. Okay, let's see. So there is the mixing bowl. And I believe that to be a water cup. We'll see. Here is your spoon. And then two trays. Now these are special trays. You don't normally see easy bake trays with the holes in them. So that's probably how it's going to help bake. And then here is your potato chip extruder. So this is two pieces. Let me see. This should turn down. So this would start higher up because you're putting your potato chip mix in there and then turning this down to extrude it out of here it says potato chip maker and it makes a very thin potato chip and then that's really it that's in here and then there's the instructions easy bake potato chip maker let's make potato chips ask mom to plug in your easy bake oven let it warm up for five minutes which I will do then here's all the steps for mixing the bowl fill measuring cup with water and pour into bowl Stir with spoon completely mixed. Spoon mixture into the little uh, chip maker. Put on the cap, spread them out. Look at that, six per tray. And then salt them. Put them in your oven, bake them, wash, clean up, have a great day, and eat them at some point. So here we go. I am going to get everything I need. I will come back and then uh, show you the oven and get started. Okay, my oven is heating up. It said let it preheat. Now this oven here I have shown you in a previous video, so I'll have a link to it if you want to learn more about the oven itself and what came with it. I am all set down here with everything you've seen already. Now I have my mixing bowl, my mixing spoon. Now I've added some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some salt that you're going to need. And then here is the potatoes I'm going to use today. Idahoan Original Mashed Potatoes. So let me cut open the bag here. Here, I'll just rip it open. Okay. And the instructions, it does say if you want to use your own potato chip mix, uh, to make your own potato chip mix, mix equal amounts of instant potato flakes and water. So I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to start with. I will grab probably a tablespoon, and that'll be my first measurement. So I'm going to do a tablespoon here, how about this? That doesn't look like much. I will do two tablespoons of this, okay, and then two tablespoons of water, and then mix that. All right, here we go. One, two, okay. Now, when does it say to put the seasoning on? I think once it's in the tray, Yes, that's step seven. After it's all out, then you season them. So, ooh, it does smell like warm mashed potatoes is what it smells like right now. Okay, so it's got a nice consistency to it. Once it's mixed, then you add it to this. I think we're pretty good. That makes really fast. Okay. All right. Let's fill this up. Quite a bit. It looks like it's going to hold it. 
Then it says put on the tray. What does it say? Turn handle to mix things up, then start in center of pan and make three chips in each side. So let's see if I can squeeze six on here. Okay, it's batch one. I don't know what we're going to get out of it. Okay, so this looks like it's got to be turned up even more. That's a full load. All right, now I should be able to turn this and it should come out. Let's see. Nothing, 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 nothing. I see it start to put pressure on it. I feel it. Oh, there we go. Look. All right. So start in the center. It didn't say to grease the pans or anything like that. Let's do it this way so you can see better. Here, maybe I'll do it this way. There we go. There's one. It's hard to regulate. There is two. Don't really have anything to cut it with. Let's try it this way. Maybe this will be easier for me. Three. That's working. Four. You almost need a little tool to catch them. Five. And six. All right, since it's my first time, let me just sprinkle these with a little salt. I'm going to get this tray in. Then I'll do these with a little onion powder. Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get these in the oven so I can get them started. It says bake them for 10 minutes. So let me get these in and then I'll do the next tray. Okay, so this oven works from this direction. You slide it, set the tray in there. You slide it in and then, I don't know if you could, you won't be able to see it because it's so bright. And then I can push it in a little further with this till it falls into place. I think that's actually right where it needs to be. All right, let me see if I can get this inside so you can watch it. All right, that's the best I can do right now. Spend a little time just to get it on the chip itself, one chip, and then 10 minutes took me about two to three minutes just to get it to this point. So I'm setting this now for seven minutes, and then I'm going to let the camera run, and I'll speed it up. We'll see if there's any change. It almost looks like it's a little out of focus. I'm not sure. I won't know till we check back, so I will check back probably when we're close, and then what I'll do is I'll make the other batch and slide those through. All right, those are almost done. I hope that uh, speeded up video look cool. I don't know, maybe it didn't. I'll try to make it as nice as possible anyway. So here we go, I'm gonna make the next batch. Now I brought in a little spatula to see if it helps it lay flat or at least cuts it. Now it said start in the middle. This time I'm gonna start from the right edge. Okay. There we go. That is the first set. Now let's just see if I can move this over just a little. All right. Potato chippy, a potato chippy. I'm not sure they look too much like a potato chip, but I see what they're doing here. You're getting at least a flat potato item. How's that? I smell the ones in the oven. The on onion smells really good. These I'll put little salt and garlic on. Okay, that was it. So that was perfect for what I had. I know it looks like I'm putting a lot on, but not a ton's coming out, and then a little of the garlic. It's like garlic mashed potatoes, basically. Okay, so let me push these in and then I'll take the other ones out. All right, here we go. These are going in, and it should push that other tray a little bit so I can reach it now. Then I'll push this through, and then I'll see. I should be able to grab this one here now. Let me see. It's right at the edge. 
Ooh, look at that. So they are definitely brown and it looks as though, here, let me just set it up here and we'll get a close up of that. There's a lot of brown, but there's also white, so it just, that's how it baked. Let me get my little spatula in here and see. Oh, okay, yeah, look at that. Looks like I can pick them up. Here, let me grab one. So what I'll do is I'll bake the next batch for a little less. Here, let me set my timer again. And then I'll do this one. Okay, all set. So here is one of the chips. I'll give it a try right now while it's still warm. Ooh. Surprisingly, it's really good. It doesn't taste like... It just tastes like a nicely made potato chip. Very crispy and crunchy. Hmm. All right. I'll come back when I get the next batch out. All right. So I've decided to go into miniature mode so I can keep practicing here. I got a little sour cream. I'm going to pour a little soda here in just a second. So these are set. I'm going to put them in my snack bowl like I'm snacking on potato chips. I guess if you really wanted to, you can shape them however you want to shape them. Now that's batch one. Batch two. Now I didn't cook these as long as you can see there's more white. But I don't think it matters. They still taste pretty good. And these are the garlic. Okay. They're definitely crispy, aren't they? You can hear them as I crack them. Look at that. Nice little chip. That one didn't fit. Ooh, that's the garlic I have to... Well, let me eat those little scraps. All right. There you go. What do you think? Let me bring you just into the table now. Like we're eating in miniature. Let me pour a soda. Ooh, let me set that. It's got one of those pressure lids, so I'm kind of... Getting used to it. Hey, my table just shifted. Did you see that? All right, there we go. Interesting soda, isn't it? It's a Calpico soda. And it is like a whitish, milky soda. Mmm, tastes like a Ramune. All right, so let's take a chip and a little sour cream. One of my favorite combinations. And give it a taste. Super crispy. All right, so let's just say I'm using my new set, which you haven't seen yet. I could make potato chips now or other snacks. All right, let me try another one. So what do you think about this potato chip maker? Let me know what you think. If you like this uh, particular oven and potato chip maker in one. And some new miniature stuff you have not seen this set yet. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the videos. Thanks for sharing them. If you're a potato chip fan, here, let me zoom in real close. You would like them. I think they taste pretty good. And then, thanks for sharing on social media and supporting the channel. It's really appreciated. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.